There are so many benefits to having a pet. They manage to bring so much pleasure into our lives. However, not everyone understands the bond between humans and beasts. Especially when they are rare, and perhaps, just not normal whatever that means. But what if your pet looks like a fish with arms, and legs like the axolotl, or a fox with giant ears from the African desert called the Finnic fox? What if you want to cuddle up to a giant rodent on your own bed like the capybara? Even jumping spiders can be yours too. Here are 15 of the cutest exotic animals you can own as pets. Number 10. The Coati Mundi. The Coati Mundi, or hognosed, are closely related to the raccoon. They share several physical and behavioral traits with this animal. But Coati Mundi is recognizable for their distinct long nose. Keeping it as a pet is not legal in every country. In fact, it is allowed in most South American countries, for instance but not in European countries, such as Spain, as they are considered an invasive species. So before you adopt one check your local regulations. The babies are called kittens, but as soon as they reach adulthood they can change. Males are more dangerous than females, but don't mess with a mother and her litter of Cody kittens. Coati mundis also have very developed fangs. Their claws are also sharp, and dangerous in the domestic environment, especially around children. These pets even need their own room, if you decide to get one. Tamper-proof cage with enough environmental enrichment within. And if you do keep a Coati Mundi, as a pet you'll need to wear thick gloves to avoid being bitten when handling it. These animals move extremely quickly, and they are smart and curious if you live in a region where Coati Mundi live you can simply leave some food out and they'll pull up to you. Number 9. Tibetan Mastiff. The Tibetan Mastiff is not your ordinary dog. Number 9. Leopard Geckos. Until recent years the leopard gecko was the most commonly kept lizard in the UK. Leopard Geckos. Until recent years the leopard gecko was the most commonly kept lizard in the UK. Leopard geckos make fantastic pets. They are not demanding, and it's simple to make them a sufficient home you're going to need to provide a light source to recreate a sun and keep the enclosure warm. And at night you can keep the leopard gecko warm with a heating pad. You'll need to provide hiding places and low sturdy branches or rocks for climbing so that the leopard gecko feels right at home in its naturalistic enclosure. Outside of easily feeding them insects, and the only water they need is a water bowl with fresh water. They are great pets for the whole family due to their docile plastic nature. But get used to having them around. Although they never grow to be a large reptile, they can live for 10 to 20 years in captivity. So be ready for a commitment. When you first bring home your leopard gecko, you can socialize it by gently handling it, but don't overdo it. Humans can stress the animal out. And their tails are their greatest communicators. If you have more than one leopard gecko, in an enclosure keep an eye out for tail waving. The leopard gecko could feel threatened and is about to attack. Number 8. The Serval. Now there are cat lovers, and then there are exotic cat lovers. Taking their love for the favorite family pet to the next level. The exotic Servo cat, and frankly, we get it this is an impressive cat they look similar to a leopard, and not much bigger than a medium-sized dog. But the word on the street, is that they are high maintenance difficult to control, and dangerous to humans and other pets. They are not easily house-trained either, and will frequently spray their pungent scent to mark their territory. These challenges owning a serval cat are probably because they retain most of their wild instincts. Plus, they are expert escape artists. They are extremely strong and fast in the wild servals, will leap high into the air to catch flying birds, and can slap fish hard enough to stun them. Several cats can be bottle-raised and hand-fed. Typically there are one human cat, 
and bond for life in ancient Egypt the serval was an exotic import from sub-Saharan Africa. When it was depicted in Egyptian, art it was frequently as a gift or trade object from Nubia. Several cats are considered wild animals, and there are many restrictions surrounding their ownership in several USA states and other countries. Number 7. Tiny Jumping Spiders Spiders get a bad reputation we think. But there are people in the world who love them, and what's not to love about a pet tiny jumping spider? And if you do your research, it could be yours. Even the super cute, but very venomous tiny jumping spiders. In addition to being fun to watch jumping spiders are interesting creatures too, and they make great pets believe it or not even though they have a brain the size of a poppy seed. But don't let their size fool you. They're able to quickly form associations with their human owners. They teach themselves through their own version of spider trial and error, and this is completely mind-blowing. Jumping spiders can navigate in virtual reality. They further impress us by planning prey capture tactics ahead of time adjusting their hunting behavioral based on how the prey responds. Another example of its spidey senses. This means they are an intelligent and interactive pet. Some jumping spider owners claim that they have trained their tiny arachnids. How venomous are they? There are no jumping spiders that have venom potent enough to cause any trouble for humans. There is absolutely no reason to be afraid of them they eat many pesky insects. Number 6. Cute Box Turtles Although they are super cute, and look like a great pet box turtles are actually quite a commonplace. Like every pet, they require some serious thought before you bring them home. Younger box turtles can flourish indoors in a smaller enclosure, but they do grow, and it's best if you have a terrarium or custom space outdoors for the box turtle to make its happy home. And in the case of sunshine shortage, we'll also need a basking heat source and ultraviolet light. Box turtles are not easy to care for low maintenance pets, and they have been known to live for more than 50 years. So commitment is key when raising one. They're also not exactly cuddly. In fact, box turtles aren't too fond of being handled at all. Your pet turtle will most likely just close up into its shell if your cuddles are too intense. And if it doesn't close up a box turtle will often flail its legs if you don't support its underside. And don't forget about its claws cause they are sharp also they bite when they feel attacked. And when the box turtle cuteness factor ceases to mystify you gotta remember wild ones can carry salmonella. This is the bacteria that causes food poisoning. Number 5. Madagascar Hissing Cockroaches Not to be confused with your commonplace house roach. Measuring 2 to 3 inches long hissing cockroaches have no wings, so they are great for keeping your new pets safe in their enclosures. And although the roach is hell from the exotic island of Madagascar off the coast of Africa, they are available for purchase as a pet pretty much anywhere. Are hissing cockroaches the must-have pet? Maybe not. But they are readily available to buy, and are arguably one of the more obscure and unique pets you could own. The Madagascar hissing cockroach is not to be confused with your commonplace house roach. These insects used their spiracles to produce the hissing sound that inspired their name. They will hiss when disturbed and males also hit when courting females. Sometimes a whole colony will hiss in unison. For reasons that are as yet unclear to researchers. Hisses force air through the spiracles to produce all of their various hissing sounds. One call is used to attract a mate another is used when the cockroach is feeling threatened. Known as the disturbance hiss and at third is known as a warning. And it's used when a male cockroach is preparing to attack another male. But don't worry their bark we mean hisses a lot worse than their bite. Number 4. Axanthic Superconda Western Hognose Snake 
So you're thinking about getting a pet snake. Maybe you think having a pet snake would be kind of cool. Well, they are. How much work could they be right? They sit in a tank and they're cold blooded and they don't really need a lot of attention, right? Might be perfect. All those words together add up to one super rare genetically singular slithering wonder snake. The Western hognose snake is classified as a super condo. It's light colored and patternless, which makes this snake exotic a form of albinism, which means the skin does not contain any visible color pigments. The Western hognose snake is our latently small stout bodied snake usually. Although there are different variations with this species, most specimens appear much like rattlesnakes to the untrained eye so if you ever came across one it would be an easy mistake. And always treat the situation with caution and keep a safe distance. However, compared to a dog or a cat you're right to think that a snake will be an easier pet with no need to be walked, there's no hair to shed, and they mostly keep to their ages. Number 3. Goofy Crested Geckos the next thing about this great gecko is that its existence has only been known for a very short time. And since their discovery, they've become quite a popular gecko to bring home as a pet. Originally from New Caledonia, a group of islands between Fiji and Australia. Even more remarkable crested geckos were once thought to be extinct, but were rediscovered around 1994. Since then their popularity as pets has only continued to grow. And check out their eyelashes one of their distinctive characteristics. Hence why they are also known as eyelash geckos. Crested geckos are ideal reptiles for first-time pet owners. They are low maintenance well suited for children or novice lizard owners. Because crested geckos are primarily tree dwellers, they make outstanding displays in naturalistic vivariums. They're usually very pretty however care is required when handling. They don't usually like it. Crested geckos may drop their tails if handled roughly or to attempt to get away, but unlike other geckos, they'll not regenerate their tails. They come in various colors with distinctive markings. They get their name from the fringed crest that begins over their eyes and runs down their necks and backs. Number 2. Lowland Street Tenrex. Crossing that thin line between adorable and atrocious brings you Lowland Street Tenrex from Madagascar. Where do we begin? They look like this strange hybrid of bumblebee hedgehog rodent with a bird bee creature. And frankly, hopefully, you find in your heart to find the inner beauty is really the most important thing when considering this as the perfect pet for you. They will bite so experts suggest handling them consistently from a young age just so they get used to you. And maybe you can build a bond with this unusual beauty. Its diet is made up of primarily earthworms stamping their feet into the ground with their forepaws to increase earthworm activity for easier foraging. Tenrex are unique among mammals because they can use strangulation body language to communicate. Their spines rub together to make a hissing scraping sound as a warning. So be warned if you hear the tin rix hiss. Tenrex are hard to find because they are not a species commonly bred as pets. They don't breed readily in captivity. In addition, it can be difficult to find a veterinarian who understands these quirky creatures. They are a highly uncommon pet originating from another part of the world. Number 1. Halloween Moon Crabs Feeling crabby, then this little crab is for you. Can a crab be considered cute? We think so. Halloween Moon Crabs found in mangrove sand dunes and rainforests along the Pacific coast closer to the equator. Have a lifespan of 8 to 10 years. But to keep them alive in your home the enclosures need both fresh and saltwater pools that are big enough to climb in and out of but not deep enough to drown. These crabs do not swim. They are used to having access to both land and sea. 
Moon crabs must have access to water at all times to moisten their gills. They do quite well in captivity, but do require constant attention. Being nocturnal moon crabs sleep during the day and come out at night. So depending on your lifestyle, maybe the Halloween moon crab is the perfect pet for people who don't have much time. And like humans, each moon crab has their own attitude and behavior. So crab experts suggest handling your pet crab every day so that it will get used to human interaction. We don't want a crabby crab. Halloween crabs have pincers, so watch out some may want to pinch or steer clear of you, and then there are other crabs who aren't shy at all.